Welcome back to part number four of my Imperator Rome playthrough as Rome. We were about, or at least I was thinking, on attacking Epirus and or Talutania at the end of last episode. Just, I think, because it was a thing. We could cross the strait here with our navy and get a little, little something, a foothold there. But the more I think about it, I, I don't really see a reason why we should extend out that way just right now. Why we should wait for our navy to become actionable uh, while we have um, the boy and Veneto in, in a, an alliance of sorts I believe the boy is a tributary and no other affiliations at all so if I were to attack him his tributary overlord would uh, defend him which is exactly what we want uh, for whatever reason um, uh, we can't uh, do this because I believe our vassals are probably not uh, willing to uh, participate because of their war exhaustion, perhaps. Let's find out. Okay, uh, all of them are at um, plus 200 opinion. I'm not really exactly sure why they won't participate, but uh, at this point, um, perhaps I'll not worry about it. Maybe we'll just uh, integrate them and not really worry about them. Um, the house and the wise going forward of, of why they will or won't do uh, any participative activities in our wars. We'll probably lose out on a bit of commercial income, but um, we'll not worry about that either. We'll probably could extract perhaps a uh, better value, maybe, uh, by... Uh, they are in Italia, yes? Yeah, yeah, it's a... Uh, uh, concentrating their pops uh, and um, assimilating uh, etc to higher order pops uh, namely freemen nobles and citizens so to that end we'll do it uh, I said I wasn't gonna do it um, for the commercial income but these guys are sort of more maybe in the way now they bounce around causing all kinds of havoc on the eye the players eye, my eye uh, during various wars so we'll not worry and um, We'll carry on. And why they won't participate, though, is it still not really known. Uh, it says disloyal. A war exhaustion. There it is. Yeah, war exhaustion. Eight, eight, and eight. So we'll not wait on them either, really. I'm going to summon fourth hour. Or call fourth hour levies. These are just manpower sinks just waiting to happen. We'll not uh, do it, so we'll just call that. And... Um, Break him in half and head uh, head up here, and we'll get you uh, here. I have half a mind to buy uh, get a mercenary. I'm gonna look into that. Maybe if it was a Toria, I would do it. Uh, these guys, uh, I don't see how they can have really all that met much manpower. Although they are, I believe, a tribe. A tribal chief, uh, you as a tribe. I think we can take them, I'm sure of it. I'll be back. I have a bad feeling about this. Um, I'm going to recruit this 14 martial mercenary here and get him uh, up to speed here. We're going to get him up on our city and uh, maybe just await just a moment or two here and get him up there. This uh, Merc is already up to a 41% loyalty or 41% morale, so why not uh, Why not just do it? Let's see what happens here. We Our allies are ready for action again. Let's do it. Let's do it. How much is it going to cost to um, fix our war exhaustion? It looks as though we can uh, take a bit of tyranny here. Uh, Neither here nor there, really. Just a bit of uh, it's just a bit of aggressive expansion, but the loyalty is, is irrelevant essentially. And now it's it's ticking down, right? Uh, just slightly. Maybe we we'll juice it twice. Let's do that. We'll juice it twice and um, let's carry on. Let's go up in here. We'll siege that down. Again, um, it should be a slaughter. I'll let you know if anything interesting happens. That Merc has dispatched a couple of stacks. He's um, 
good at sieging for, with his 14 marshal, and uh, this ticked up, I think, from negative 7 to 14 to 7 almost immediately. We're already at 49. We've won this siege, and uh, we'll proceed. Um, who's that? Occupied by a horde. It would seem as though its uh, barbarians have invaded. Well, whatever. This siege is won as well. We'll send our merc over here to siege that. Looks as though the uh, Antigone it caused wavers. Uh, it had wavered uh, a few months or years back. Uh, I think he's, he's stuck here now. As to whether these guys implode or not, I, I don't know. Egypt is usually has some staying power. And let's get back to uh, business here. Our Merc quickly dropped another siege here. Let's roll up here to finish that bit out. So there's some boys and Venetians uh, here. Uh, we have a, our large legacy or a, a levy army here headed over in that direction. We have been hitting a, a few stability uh, pop-ups of where it's 70 right now, so that's probably doing our loyalty quite a bit of good. It's not as though we don't need it either. Um, some of these are still running negative. Not by much there at least, but um, anyway. These uh, integrations are going to start filtering in. We'll take these guys. This is something I don't remember about the rules of warfare, but I went here to Forum Licini and was able to proceed here to the capital Provenance. And then I'm able to go here as well. I'm, I'm not sure why I'm able to do any of that. This zone of control should extend, but it seems I'm able to move forward by one and extend my own zone of control, oddly enough. I don't... Uh, maybe it's because this is under siege. The point of occupying all this is that it gets the, the wrong culture, wrong religion pops out of here and to Rome uh, without me having to do anything. All right, so that siege just dropped, and I, I'm certain we can peace out with this. What's that? It's a subject. Tributary. Okay, well. That's it. Uh, that's a fair clip of aggressive expansion, actually, and um, good for us. We've done it. That is everything, right? It is. We are going to be a major power. We've done it. Let's see. Uh, we really don't need any trouble with these guys. This should get us a fair clip of money. Uh, let's see if we can stand down the smirk. And then um, let's stand down our levies as well. I'm going to defort and uh, maybe think on moving some of these pops or doing something. Maybe we have. This is not actionable. I'm going to do uh, enact the mission here, approach the Greeks. So. Um, it's, it's running, and we may be able to do this if we are able to get those client states or whatnot integrated. I think everything else here is almost done except the Etruscans. We have um, a meagerly sized navy now. And I'm going to build uh, more ships to that navy, maybe double, double it in size. And then uh, perhaps uh, let this AE burn down a bit and attack it. Itoria, or something like that. Uh, I'll be back. Okay, uh, looks like we're maxed out on research, unfortunately, so we're going to have to enact this book binding here for another 25%, so we're, we're maxed out again. I see, I see. Okay, so we just finished that war, and as you know from video I've spent a couple of minutes here analyzing various matters uh, first of which is um, our research efficiency is topped out there's one here that can be had but it takes some doing uh, to get to it uh, there's something here uh, there's only one in the oratory for the research max 
There's uh, something down here, but again, that, that's going to be some doing to get at it. And then there's, of course, nothing in the marshal. So really, there are two left, um, one of which is here and the other of which is here. So as opposed to getting to those before we take um, professional training, is it's not going to happen. So this is the next stop is professional training so that we can keep a, a legion proper in the capital and uh, not burn through so much manpower and be able to uh, siege down things effectively with our siege engines that we can buy. I forget again the exact name. So um, to that end, we're just going to uh, let um, our um, aggressive expansion tick down. Um, maybe something will come to me. We're going to build up a navy and use uh, our vast income, which has yet to really pop. Uh, it's um, 28.56. Uh, to uh, shuffle pops about uh, specifically to areas without that we just conquered uh, without a city uh, this this one specifically cries out it's it's not going to be very loyal for very long uh, what we need to do uh, is um, where is our capital it's here um, so th there's no city here we have a, a fair number of you know pops and such so what we need to do here is get a, a barracks built uh, so that um, how much does that cost and 122 I'll pay so we're gonna shuffle pops down to this barracks they'll become freemen and theoretically uh, give me manpower as well as I think be more happy than not provided that I can get some freemen augmentation but they're better than slaves so far as actually at this point in the game I'm not sure if that's true let's find out so judging on on the, the goings on in this territory here we have a Lepontic Druid Freeman wrong culture wrong religion at a 35 percent happiness because we have fish in the capital as opposed to the tribesmen uh, here are very unhappy and uh, the slave is um, is less happy as well, I believe. So let's see here. This guy is actually happy, right? Because he's Hellenic. This Lepontic Druid is not happy. Whatever the case is, the um, the barracks is going to uh, allow us uh, give us some loyalty for the freemen as well. It should make them uh, them happier, right? Local Freeman happiness, plus 8%. So I think it's better than not, and that's what we're going with. We can build a city there at some point. And then uh, I'm going to move the rest um, forcibly out to um, as far as I can get them, as money becomes available, uh, down towards uh, our urban centers here that are already uh, intensely loyal at 100%. So that, that's what I need to do. I need to get these guys... Out of here and down here. I just changed my mind. Let, let, let's not build that uh, that uh, barracks there. We'll just move them out. Well, most of my money is gone. I uh, moved uh, all but essentially four pops from all of these territories down to um, uh, this city and then uh, just barely kept it Roman. I moved them here to this city. It's barely Roman. I moved them here. And then disperse them here and, and here. There seem to be quite a few Romans and such about here as well. So there's um, quite a few that can reside here and it will still be resoundingly Roman. Um, almost all 20, I think, could probably end up there to one degree or the next uh, after a bit of shuffling. Um, when more money becomes available, I'm going to do that again. I, I'd imagine this, this area here is, is still as disloyal as it was, as there are no uh, new Romans there, but I'm working on it. I bought a, a theater right here. Um, at some point, these guys should uh, assimilate faster than not, but um, I'm not holding my breath at all. But I did build the theater, uh, if nothing else, for the, the loyalty. I just swapped out Governor of Magna Gracia and spent all my PI on mostly a cultural assimilation here, here, and here. 
This guy is 16. He'll die or become terribly corrupt before long, and I'll have to do it all over again, but I am trying. Ela may become a tributary. Um, we'll just demand they bow and, and carry on. They didn't accept. Well, there's really only one thing to do at that point. Um, we probably need to uh, fabricate a claim. We we already have them. I wonder uh, what would happen. Um, he has an, an ally there. Um, I suppose we could hire a merc. We make a actually an egregious amount of money now. These new territories have been good to us. So I, I bet we could hire a mercenary army and just leave our levies be and and, um, and we'd have to fight both of them. Let's see. Uh, where is this other? So his friend is here. Well, we'll uh, we'll just wait until we can uh, summon up our levies again or or not. Uh, worry about it. We could really care less if these uh, guys become tributaries or not. Uh, we'll not pay for the um, option. We'd rather perhaps... we we'll just forget about it. Well, we have a bit more money. I built a few more ships. Uh, this area is still bleeding uh, fairly hard. It's uh, topping the list of um, loyalty challenged uh, provinces. So let's um, evacuate more of these Lepontic Druidics out and down to our myriad of cities uh, throughout here. I managed to evacuate more pops. Uh, we need to get Roman pops up here, though. I don't think it's going to do. Uh, actually, it did uh, do our uh, negative tick some good. And uh, here, I don't think it. I moved them. I uh, consolidated them here in the city, moved them there, and then here, and then here, and then some of them into Pisces. In them, which is maxed out now, but uh, you'll note here that it's Roman, and this is Roman, and this is uh, Hellenic and Hellenic. These druids are not causing any trouble here again. Uh, the tick is positive 15, so they're better here than there, and where they'll assimilate, assimilate faster here as well. We could do a great many things. Um, like declare war and get ourselves more aggressive expansion. We have a very high stability right now, which uh, sort of is keeping our loyalties afloat. But uh, if we get more AE, we get a higher tick down on aggressive expansion, and we won't be able to move the pops either up or down, which will cause trouble. And what we need to do is we need to get off of this levy wheel that we're on, and we need to get uh, a proper legion. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I think we'll just mull about. I could declare war on these guys, but there's so many of them, I'd have to raise the levy and then disband it and then divide it. I figure it's easy to do, easier to do with the Legion proper as it's going to always be active. And if we're always uh, creating and disbanding our levies, uh, Carthage or whom not could catch us out during the period when we cannot raise it and uh, it could be trouble so we're just gonna mull about and do nothing from uh, for a couple of years or something until we get a navy and uh, can uh, raise a legion proper another stability pop-up good for us barbarians have finally popped up uh, I think they were came from Etoria we will um, raise uh, from the Magna Gracia and sustain assist Alpine Gaul Let's see if we can um, march up there and deal with these guys. Uh, I'll be back. Looks as though we've done it. I I like what they've done. That when the barbarians uh, occupy a land, I, I think they lose a thousand men or something. So it's not the never-ending series of, of attacks. And I think we can disband now without worry. We've done it. I'm going to rehire this uh, Durante mercenary. Unless there's someone here that's a uh, 12 12. And this one is uh, 11 11, probably. Um, we'll choose this one here. I'm going to send him over to uh, deal with this uh, barbarian.
barbarian horde there and we'll keep him employed uh, going forward uh, to deal with a war that we have about to declare on uh, Ituria. He seems uh, unaffiliated and our navy is, has grown to a fact quite large. I'm going to consolidate it here where I've been building it and then we'll we'll swing it around the horn here or whatnot and summon up our levies and then uh, cross into Corsica. I'll be back. We have defeated the barbarians. Um, I figure by the time we get down there we should uh, be right about in position. Let's head uh, right here. Then we can call up our our levies. Our fleet has almost arrived here. Let's go into Ostia. And you are still isolated. And we can have a claim and, um, and why not? Um, hmm, 14 points. It's probably better things to spend your PI on than a 14 point claim. So we'll not uh, not do it. Let's wait for these this Merc to get just a bit closer. I don't want to chase these guys around in these territories that I've essentially deleted all the forts in. Let's go ahead here and call up our levies here. We'll send them half up here. Another half here and see what happens. Another five stability or 50 gold. We make uh, half of that every, or yeah, half that every month. So we'll take the stability, surely. This should be the last of our levy wars as we are about to. Well, let's just do it. We should have enough uh, in innovations shortly to uh, call up a legion. Uh, in fact, I may well do that in the middle of the war if, if need be, but who knows. Uh, if manpower, if we max out on the manpower, we may as well do it. So, um, th this, this will be a slaughter. It's just us against the Aturians. And I'll be back to you if, if anything of interest happens. Our uh, omen expired, so uh, we have a fair clip of money without it. Uh, we probably could use the aggressive expansion tick. Let's do that. And uh, so far, all I see are uh, 2k and Torians, and um, yeah. 10 stack just popped up here. It's being joined by a 2, a two stack. We have our 8.5 stack headed up, which, so we have a lot of morale. If we can get there, we should uh, hold the day here. At some point, we should arrive. Uh, better sooner than later here, really. Uh, I've been defeated, I see. Well, that's the way of life. I'm you're victorious. We've done it. We have the four available um, requirements for the professional training. So if we go one, two, three, four, we should do it. We'll get it for free if we wait on the Marian reforms. Uh, I don't really want to. So we'll have this. We'll get some discipline along the way here while we're at it. We just drop that siege. I think we can attack this guy immediately. Another stability pop up for uh, some PI. I'll take it. We've landed on Corsica, and uh, we certainly can um, get this guy off that island. And back over here to engage with this last of the uh, Turin uh, legions or levies. We've uh, we've won this siege here. We can head over to see if we can deal with these guys that got behind our lines. That should do it. The last siege just fell, so we should be able to uh, sue this guy for peace. Taken completely out of the game for ten aggressive expansion works. And. Um, We'll do that as well. 
We have quite a horde, a tidy sum here. Let's disband our Merc. And then uh, see about disbanding our levies. This guy will wait for him to move there. We have a ruler that was born. Levies, disband. Okay, um, we have a high stability. Unfortunately, we're going to take a hit to that stability if we pass this uh, law that enable us to uh, call forth a, a legion. But there's no point right now because we're not at max manpower, so we may as well partake of the the stability while it's still high for the loyalty, etc. And then we'll will pass the Punic reforms uh, when it's lower and it'll drive the stability into the negative and then we'll get stability for free. There's no rush to have a legion other than some military experience we can get for drilling so and we're not at war so why should we do it? We need to get a claim on you and I will do that immediately. Our aggressive expansion is reasonable. We have quite a bit of money. I'm gonna see if we can um, Either move some Roman pops to some troubled areas. Uh, let's see where this is uh, here. Uh, point three down. This is a point seven. This one is uh, chronic. It's uh, chronic there. I need to get some Romans up to this area. Uh, I'm gonna do that. All right. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna move some Roman pops. I'm gonna dredge them up from somewhere around in here up into this area which is a chronically challenged relative to loyalty specifically this one 0.26 this one 0.26 as well and this one here is um one six but it's been that way for a long time down this is um not as bad these are uh, not wrong culture group but just wrong culture and they're hellenic as well so they're just hovering around uh, mostly loyal uh, to that end I'm gonna let some time pass so we're gonna lower our aggressive expansion uh, where we're gonna go I don't know I'm gonna try to keep the aggressive expansion low in the early uh, aspect of the game as we can't handle the, the higher aggressive expansion I'm gonna drop a claim here against Carthage just in case we have a, a navy and then we have a Sardina Australis 161 I'll take it I suspect we probably um, could build even more of these um, ships here and uh, perhaps challenge uh, Carthage at the sea at, at least at the very least we'll probably be able to ferry or hold this straight here to where we could march across here and uh, take that um, as a war goal and hold it uh, once we get our land troops there, it's, it's over. And to that end, we're going to want uh, a legion as well. So all of that is going to happen in between episodes.